there is a guy uh, that I met, I don't even know how long ago, uh, many years ago, found him very, very funny, and now it's to the point where I cannot even look at him without laughing. I don't think I've had a serious conversation with this man yeah. in I don't know how long, um, because... I, I I don't think he's ever serious. I don't think he's ever serious. I try not to be. Uh, his name is Brian Sack. He is uh, was has been the czar at large. He is going to be uh, uh, doing. Uh, when I say he's going to be doing, he's going to be attempting to do some comedy stuff mm-hmm. on uh, GBTV. Um, I have not seen any of you know. We launch on September twelfth. Yes, Brian. I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen anything. No, from and you. So you should definitely go off to Israel, and and just leave me sitting here. Well, no, I, I haven't seen you do, I haven't seen yeah. even a plan from you, I, you know, on the I, show. I was actually joking yesterday that I probably, I could just show up here at 6 p.m. and just kind of run through the office and say goodnight, everybody, and then just go back home. I, I'm trying to, I'm I, just You do could. That. I think that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. I think that's exactly what you do. Now, Brian um, has uh, written a new book. Yes. Uh, called The BS of A. How, how's that for good timing? What, you mean that that's the name of the show on GBTV? Well, also the book, The BS of A, a Primer in Politics for the Incredibly Disenchanted. I mean, is there a better time to release a book with that title? Is it really pronounced Primer? Or yes, is it primer? primer. No, Primer. It is Primer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to show you. Um, uh, here. Th- have you seen this yet? This is Barnes & Noble? I have not. This is Barnes & Noble 100. You're, a, you're about to hurt my feelings, I bet. No, no, no. Okay. The Barnes & Noble 100, uh, the uh, best sellers on barnesandnoble.com right oh, now. Okay. Uh, number one is Michael Vay, the new f- new one from Mercury, Inc. Okay. Uh, Michael Vay by Richard Paul Evans. It's fantastic book you read it with your kids you're gonna love love this book wait a second this it's is... a new harry potter twilight kind of thing it'll be a generational book first in a, bo- a series of seven i feel like my book interview is already being hijacked number two at barnes and noble right now is the original argument which is is the book that we released earlier this summer on the uh the founders in the constitution Mm-hmm. Uh, number three is Brad Thor's Full Black. Something else you highly, highly recommended. All really long. great, great book. Okay. Great book that great you should book. read. Mm-hmm. Right, I mean, it's Brad Thor, and you uh, know, and then nothing. I couldn't find your book anywhere on the. Well, you know, because you haven't talked. There's a hundred books available to choose from. I challenge you to, to claim the top three on Barnes and Noble and Amazon by by challenging your listeners to buy my book, The BS of A. A primer in politics for the incredibly disenchanted. Now, I haven't Don't, read wouldn't it. Wouldn't you yet. like to I have it? The... You know, I haven't read it yet. Do you know what, I, Brian? I left may I just it say on this? Your desk. This, is, this is how bad he <laughs> left it on my desk. I did. You I know did. how many books are on my desk? I do, and it's depressing every time yeah. I walk in. So, like, oh, every, so, so there are people that will do everything just to get a book in front of me. Right. You know? And, and Brian. No, he leaves it on my desk. Well, I don't want to annoy I you. I don't, I, want, I don't want to be annoying. I don't want, to, I don't want you to feel like I'm using you. So you you are. To market my book, the BS of A of Primer in Politics. I mean, that's what, I mean, that's that's the relationship we have. You use me. No, no. I'm, and you're I'm, like, I look, provide we're you with services. We're gonna make you laugh, Glenn. That's it. That's it. We're gonna make you laugh. So, so you, you don't know. If convince it's me to read the book. Okay, uh, the book is about. It's a nonpartisan uh, book that takes shots at pretty much everything in politics. Partisanship. So I mean, timing wise, it couldn't be better. What two days after this debt fiasco, right? Is it selling you? Is it selling you? No. A, what? What do I <laughs> have, have to, read it yet, Stu? I wouldn't read I, it. I have it's, not. It's, I'm, okay. Right. Listen, I need it to I'll, be sold I'll tell you on what's it in well. it. All right. It doesn't sound very good. Let it does get, it? There's a chapter, chapter nine. How a bad idea becomes a regrettable law, and it explains how a law uh, comes in. And I use a fake law. I create the pedestrians every. Or, I'm sorry, protecting our pedestrians everywhere and sparing our drivers act. Pope soda, and it shows how that <laughs> act comes to be. And, and, and all the detrimental effects it has afterwards, <laughs> which results in dead animals on the side of the road. So that's a very, that's a very important chapter. Doesn't really. I've got, uh, how about the glossary? There's a glossary in the back. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Ready? Went down to the glossary? Glo- briefing, an informational session that often lacks information. That's the glossary. <laughs> that's in the back. And then I go over the Constitution. I talk about all the amendments of the Constitution and, uh, and their pros and cons. What made, and- you, what made you want to write this book? Because right. you know, it seems because everybody's miserable about you know, anybody you talk to is mis- left, right, you know, conservative, Republican, uh, you know, liberal, Democrat, whatever. They're miserable. They're absolutely. They're they're miserable. They're mad at the president. They, they they're just everybody's unhappy. And I thought I'm like the guy who runs between feuding parents and says, "Please stop yelling at each other, mother and father." Here, I'll make a funny face for you. So my you, book is like a funny face for 270 really are, pages. <laughs> <laughs> there is one of the best pictures of you on the back cover I've ever As seen. As Abraham Lincoln. It is is that have you seen that, Stu? Yeah, it's great. That I, is one of the best pictures like that? of anybody I've seen. I mean, you 
You you look kind of like Abraham Lincoln. Well, and that came. I was doing a roast for Roger Hertog, who's this philanthropist, and they wanted me. They asked me if I could do Lincoln. I was like, well, I'm not known for it. But I, thought, you know, <laughs> I thought, okay, yeah, I can do Abraham Lincoln. I, and I assumed they were going to slap a beard and a top hat on me. But uh, the guy's wife, who was hosting the roast, she's a uh, Saturday Night Live producer. And so she has the SNL crew come from like a Lady Gaga sketch to me. So I have her DNA in my skin, Lady Gaga DNA, come, you know, from the brushes, same brushes. And I, I can feel her, really her a, presence. It's uh, really is that a selling point? Disturbing. No, <laughs> but, it's uh, really, So they did no, me up really. 90 minutes and they made me look like Abraham Lincoln. They even gave me that little mole. And stuff, and I was walking around asking people if they saw me on the five dollars. So, did bill. you have to do a roast dressed as Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, I did. It was like a video uh, you're roasting this guy and making fun of him. Now, Brian, you are a guy that I have no idea what your political uh, bent is. Yeah, I, um, because you don't ever. I mean, I, I, you make fun of everybody. Yes. Yeah. Tell me what your tell me what your take is on uh, on the debt ceiling and well, that was and what um, that's the perfect example of, of of partisan politics and where you're putting your party before your principles and and the, and the, the detriment of the country. Is so what should concern. have happened? Huh? What should have happened? You, this is the he is one of the worst. May I just say, you're one of the worst interviews I think I've ever done. What? Why would you say such? No, a No, seriously. <laughs> why? Just why? one of the worst not, interviews. Am I am I supposed to promote my book more? The BS of A, a primer no. in politics for the no, incredibly disenchanted. No, I mean it's just it's just you know what it is. What is I it? I think this is why I don't ever have conversations with you because because you're extraordinarily funny when you go off and you're when you go off and you do your little thing whatever it is you do i don't know i've i've walked by where you've been getting beaten in our stairwell right. before and i've just and and somebody went is what's going on in there and i'm like oh, it's brian sack he's getting beaten up for comedy it may be for comedy it may be because I owed somebody money. It may have been. I don't know. It, we just don't even look at Brian anymore. We just are like, oh, he's, oh really? He's in camouflage, step, uh, uh, crouching uh, above all the file cabinets in the other room. Yeah, yep. it could be he's either gone off the deep end or he's filming something. I'm not really, I'm not really sure. <laughs> so you never really know with right. you. But why, why would, going back to the worst interview you've ever given, <laughs> uh, why, why would you say such a terrible thing to me in front of a lot of people? Because I think there's no, I, I, is there a possibility Pat, help me out. Is there a possibility mm. there's absolutely no depth to him? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, possibility. Do you think that, uh, Stu, if I nailed him, that there's likelihood. zero, there's, there's, yeah, there's like there's there's nothing there. It's surface. I'm just the most shallow person you've ever interviewed. Mm hmm. Have I you, think so. Have you not? Have you well, had he, the Kardashians? He didn't, actually, he, he didn't say that. You said that. He said you were the worst interview he'd ever done. But what makes me the worst interview? I'm very disturbed. Should I, I, that I, might be because of the shallow. I think it is. Don't you think, mm -hmm. Jeffy? There's you no have depth. a you want to chime in on this? No is it shallowness or is it? Uh... No, I was just disappointed though. I got the book and there's only just like one picture. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not you a want picture book, of, Jeffy. I know. So, it's, not, it's not a coloring book. All right, so you've even disappointed Jeffy, who is really just looking for a picture <laughs> book. That's really bad. Okay, here, Brian. Here's what I'm going to do. What? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read your book. Okay. Okay, because I haven't read it yet. All right. Uh, and if I find it funny, then I might. Well, I won't have you back because you suck. Um, but <sighs> if if it's good, yeah, then I'll talk about it and talk about how funny it is. I think you, now you have if got a great opportunity right now. Who's that? You got Michael Vay up there, right? Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Number two is what? Brad Thor. Yes. The God no, of Thunder. Number, that's number. That's three. number three. Number two is Glenn Beck. Uh, Glenn Beck, yeah, original yeah. argument, and then mm -hmm. so wouldn't you want? Uh, wouldn't you want to have the number four? Like, oh, Glenn, Glenn, the four books Glenn recommended are at the top of the chart. Yeah, but I see. Uh, but wouldn't that if be good I recommended, I would. It would imply that I've read it. You don't have to read it. It's just trust me. It's just, uh, it's good. I don't, I don't really. It's a nonpartisan attack on, on politics. Well, and, I mean, uh, in Brian's defense, yes, uh, which there's not much of, apparently, even yeah. from Brian, um, his last book, In the Event of My Untimely Demise, is hysterical. Was Thank awesome. You. Okay. Yeah, his, um, now, uh, let me tell you something. As much as I give Brian Sack uh, a hard time, and I mean most of it, um, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, uh, he is truly one of the funnier guys that I've, uh, that I have run into and really a brilliant, brilliant, funny writer. Um, and, uh, that book, whatever it was called, I actually kept, In the I read, of my demise. yeah, whatever right. I actually kept and read and, uh, uh, thought it was, thought it was fantastic. You kept it under your pillow. I, I think you told me. No, no, I didn't. You didn't? Brian. No, hmm. see, no, I didn't. All right. See, this is where it gets right. to a and bad it, interview again. No, what did I do? <laughs> what, you, oh, you talked. When, yeah. when you talked, yeah, don't oh, I should let you talk. Come here, yeah. come here. Mm -hmm. Brian, uh, turn off his microphone. Come no, here. BS of A, a premier in politics. Come here, come here, come here. I'll show you how to make this work for you. Give me, give me the book. Okay, walk Somebody in, give me walk the book. in, walk oh, this way. Walk oh. in, and then you bring you bring the book to him. Oh. Say nothing. Tell him, say nothing. Say nothing. Don't say anything, Brian. Okay, now, Brian, give me the book. Give me the book. Okay, now leave the room. Okay, when you leave the room, 
go down the hallway and go to wherever your office is or wherever your closet is. No, you can leave, Brian. Brian, you can leave now. He's asking you to leave, Brian. You can leave. You leave. Like, you go like away. You leave. I, just I don't verif- see you for another... I see you I, on September 12th okay, or whatever so it is. I'm just going to verify that I'm actually walking out of my book interview. You're leaving. I'm leaving yeah. my you're, book interview. You're walking out. You're okay. leaving. Yeah. You're leaving. Uh, in Never shame to return. Just, yeah. Okay. Never to return. All right. Uh, it, here's it, how, here's, here's what they call a dishonorable the, uh, discharge. Dishonorable discharge. All right. yeah. Here's how. Here's here's how this here's how this uh, good interview with Brian Sack uh, goes. Uh, Brian was booked today and he couldn't uh, he couldn't make it in. He's so busy on whatever else it is that he does. But he's a really 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 funny laugh out loud writer. Um, I have no idea if this book is laugh out loud funny. I assume it is because somebody actually put a they like printed it and that's hard to get. I mean, not anybody can have it printed. I mean, sure, you can print it yourself, but he didn't do that. Uh, an actual, you know, like a publisher read it and said that it was really funny. Um, knowing Brian Sack, I would count on that. I'm going to read it myself if you'd like to uh, roll the dice with Brian Sack. <laughs> uh, it is the BS of A uh, primer. In Politics for the Incredibly Disenchanted by Brian Sack. Available in bookstores everywhere. Uh, back in uh, just a second. It's a good book. Uh, hello? Yeah. Brian, is that you? Yeah, I just phoned in. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. 